Yo, Joe. This is Elgin from the Crack Test Classic Podcast. Back with another unboxing video here on Motu Monday. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications so that you know when the next video drops on Monday. Every Monday. Until I run out of things to open on Mondays. <laughs> Alright, today we're going to be talking about this giant fella, Roton. Um, so I think I picked this up at a Walmart in Oskaloosa. Um, it's, I do have an original vintage, uh, Roton. And so I'm curious to see how it stacks up with that original vehicle. Uh, shows Skeletor there on the front, 40th anniversary sticker on top. Great package art. Um, with some extra features as well as you can see as that cage and the extra face. Those were on that, um, like the like snap tight or something, um, building Roton figures that they did back in the 80s as well. You could build your own. In the back it says, whether on land or in the air, the Roton and its spinning blades carve a path of destruction. And on the back it's got the weapons and then the attached cage to protect the pilot, attach a faceplate to intimidate enemies. Also has late night Stratos there up in the corner. Talon Fighter, which they haven't released yet, but hopefully they will. Uh, on top of Point Dread, looks like. And then we got Screech here, so maybe that'll come out sometime. And of course, you got the Snake Tower, part of Eternia playset, which is coming out. And uh, the Road Ripper, Ground Ripper, since they lost the name. Um, it doesn't look like Mechanek is on it, but He-Man is. So and we know that figure is coming out as well. It is, is out, the Ground Ripper. So let's open her up, take a look. Oh, there's also Cobra Khan on the front here as well. And the little dragons uh, that you've seen on everybody. So yeah, I believe he's coming out on with the Snake Men line. And also I think in Mattel exclusive, he'll be out as well with that. So let's try to get this open without breaking it too much so we can save the box for later so if we just open from the sides should be the easiest way to get this out over there Looks like the cage part came out of there, and that goes in the back. So it does look like it has some attachments, wheels. You should be able to just turn these, and that pops out. Just like that. And then we'll have to pop out the other stuff. <clears throat> like face extra face piece and that was like like I said on that snap tight or whatever that was called figure um, building figure Okay, guns are out. Um, look like a little better quality of a plastic on the guns as well. So those look very much like the original. I think the original ones were a lot smaller too. Oops. And dropped it. <clears throat> and get this guy out too. So this is the cage part. <clears throat> the cage part of the Roton. Um, kind of a thinner plastic. So, usually when you ran this across the ground, the blades would spin and make a clicking noise. So, let's test that out. Let's see how it makes the. Still, still makes a clicking noise. But I think originally, and it looks like it now it has handholds for the 
the figures to hold on to that. The weapon should just attach to the sides, just like this. So those just attach. And you could probably also use them, pull them off and use them as like an actual weapon for a figure if you wanted to do that. So, well, um, teeth just attach, I'm guessing. Yeah, looks like it just kind of snaps in there like that. And then this looks like it should attach like... It has little pegs on the bottom and top, so that should attach like so, maybe. Oops. There. So it popped off that front. So maybe put the cage on first and then the front piece. That might help. It seems to <clears throat> work a lot better. Yeah. You can see this. Yeah, so not annoying at all for any little kids that are want to run that up and down the uh, carpet or whatever. <clears throat> so, yeah. Anyway, looks good. I do like the improvements. I do like the improvements of the cage. That's kind of a nice uh, throwback to those model kits, <clears throat> which I never had one of those, but I did have a Rotom. <clears throat> Sticker's already on it. Faceplate's nice, but you can take it off. So, yeah, with, with his buck teeth. <clears throat> so yeah, looks good. Good improvement. Feels, you know, like it won't break, <laughs> which is always good. So yeah, that's a Roton from, um, I don't know if it's part of, I think it came out before Wave 9 or 10. I can't remember. I got it a while back. Like I said, I'm doing. I'm trying to do all the origins first, and then <clears throat> moving on to the other stuff that I have. So yeah, there it is. Uh, <clears throat> Master of the Universe Origins Roton by Mattel. Looks good. Colors look great. Very much like the original. I would say definitely recommend getting one. Um, use the vintage ones aren't that bad either, like price wise. So um, I think comparable really. Either or, either or, it's up to you guys. Um, but I think it's a with the additions of the cage and the and the front plate and the better guns and and the, um, the bigger um, it's the larger vehicle itself compared to the vintage. I'd say go ahead and get, grab one if you can if you can find one. And that's it for this episode here on Motu Monday. <clears throat> Be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. So that you know that we know that you know stuff. No, it's basically so that you are informed that a new video drops like this one every Monday. Uh, be sure to check us out. If you go to our website, which is www.cracktasticplastic.com, there you'll find all of our uh, links to social medias, like, like loud vehicles on the street. <laughs> <coughs> But like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Patreon. Uh, become an exclusive member of our Patreon. You get part of our exclusive chat on Patreon uh, when you join. And you can talk to us about toys, which is awesome. Uh, what else? Uh, on the website, there's also links to our sponsors, Toy Hacks at ToyHacks.com and Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, use our affiliate link, which is bbts.com. Cracktasticplastic.com. Uh, once you click on that and bookmark that to your website, you can use that to then go to the website and then they know that we sent you there. So it helps us, it helps them, it helps everybody with your pre orders and whatever else. Uh, that's pretty much it for now. <clears throat> See you next week.
with Roton spitting away, saying later, and I'm saying ciao for now.